Hey, big city of Irwin, North Carolina. No through trucks allowed. Big city of Irwin. Anybody ever been to Irwin? Here we're on the left, we have the short stop gas station. We got the Irwin Public Library right here. Yeah, big city of Irwin. Anybody, if anybody from Irwin, let me tell you. They should make, all right, buddy. Irwin and Doug should be the same city. Just like me, I'm from Roseboro. So Roseboro, we got Selenburg right beside it. You should, hey, you got Selenburg, you got Ultraville, you got Stedman, you got Haynes, Stretch. Garland way out there in the middle of nowhere. Hey, all these little towns, man. So basically, you come to Dunn and you go to Walmart. If you're not from Dunn, you will automatically assume Walmart is in Dunn. But when you say, I'm going to Walmart in Dunn, if you say that to anybody from Dunn or Irwin, especially people from Irwin, they're going to automatically correct you. They're going to be like, ain't no, ain't no Walmart in Dunn, it's in Irwin. There's Irwin Elementary School. My first time seeing that. But look, though, if y'all wondering why the hell I'm in Irwin, today's the day for my baby shower. If you see in the back, I got my speaker. I got some gift bags back there. I got to come up here and let these people in to, um, to start setting up the building. I was supposed to be here at 10. It's, as a matter of fact, it's 10 o'clock right now. My GPS was saying 10.01. But we here, and they already outside, so... Well, they already here or whatever. Let me let me see. Oh, there they go. They got a U-Haul. They got a little U-Haul. Here we go. Here's where we're going. Indigo room. Let me come up here and sit. Open this door for these people. So this is the place right here. Indigo room. Right beside Bernie's Sweets. Sweets and more. Let's go in here and take a look. Show y'all what I'm working with. Look pretty nice. How y'all like that? I'm about to do a quick test on the speaker real quick. Quick test. Got my microphone right here. Kitchen, bathrooms, another way to the kitchen. Those are those are my uh, gift bags for my uh, for my guests whenever we play some games or whatever. Hey, I got this all figured out, man. Got it all figured out. Here's the back door. Who the sun feel good? Hey, let me tell y'all something real quick, man. Let me tell y'all something real quick. When I used to work at Smithfield Packing back in the day, if y'all don't know what Smithfield Packing is, it's the largest pork processing plant in North America. Matter of fact, it's actually the largest one in the world. So the headquarters is in China. So they bought... That's my buddy Tevin just texted me. Remember I was talking about my buddy that worked at Landstar? That's Tevin. He the one first told me about that marketplace insurance. So yeah, Smithfield Packing is one of the biggest meat distributors in the world. The headquarters is in China. Billion dollar company. So you think they would pay their employees top dollar. You might make $20 an hour. You might. Now, since the raises keep going up, you might can make twenty dollars an hour, but when I was working there, I was making like eighteen dollars an hour. Let me tell you, in order for me to bring home an eight or nine hundred dollar check, I had to work about seventy to eighty hours. Never, never brought a thousand dollar check. Seventy or eighty hours—that's rough. Working six days a week, sometimes seven. Whew. So I tell you what, man. If, see, we take it for granted. We take we take truck driving for granted. So if we make if we make a thousand dollar check, truck driving, 
That's that's a minimum for us. You you upset? You bring home a thousand dollars. You you want to fucking quit your job? So truck driving is definitely a big. It's a big jump from the average man. From the average average working man, truck driving is a good career. Cause I tell you what, I wouldn't have been able to afford this right here. I wouldn't have been able to afford this if I was still working at that meat plant. Look at this. I came. I came a long way, man, from where I used to be. Hey, just just for these people that's sitting up right now. You know how much that was? Just for these people. I think they charged me. Matter of fact, I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to lie to you. Let me let me pull my phone out because I got it in my phone. Let's pull it up in my phone. I know it was over two thousand. Right there. Can y'all see that? $2,300. $2,300 with a 20% down payment. But I put down 460. I think that's how much I had to put down. $2,300 for these people. This building right here, I wanna say this building was about 500 for this building. This building was about $500. That speaker that I just brought in I think that speaker was like seven or eight hundred. And I bought it just for this party. Just for this party, I bought it. So we're about to uh we're about to do a mic check real quick. Let's do a mic check. Look at that. About to do a mic check on this thing. See how it works. So I got the, I got the mic on now. Mic, mic. I turned it off. Channel. That look like I got my money's worth. What it look like? Look like I got my money's worth? What y'all think? Ooh, look at the trees. Ooh, look at, look at the trees. White claw. Hey, for all my lawyer subscribers that's been following me from day one, how many of y'all knew I used to be a photographer? That's a Nikon D7500. That's about a thousand dollar camera when I first got it. I got about four lenses in here, two flashes. Got a bunch of other stuff in here. This is just lighting equipment. That's a reflector. It's four sides on it. See these bulbs? Just lighting equipment. Umbrellas. Y'all didn't know I used to be a photographer. So I'm gonna take a couple of these lights. Well, if y'all see I take a lot of pictures on Facebook and Instagram, y'all know I'm pretty photogenic. I'm gonna take this camera. Take a couple of these lights up, up there to that building. Yeah, used to be a photographer before I started trucking. People still hit me up now and be asking. They're like, hey, you still doing, doing photography? I'm like, nah, I really don't be having the time to do it, really. That's why I don't do it. I used to do it as a hobby, really. Like on the weekends, I go do a wedding. Go do a wedding for about, about $1,000. Sold for 500. Fashion shoots. Graduation pictures. We're just gonna start out with two lights. Just two to start out with.
Can't put her down. If I put her down, she start crying instantly. I didn't get a chance to recording. I didn't get a chance to finish that recording at that baby shower. But here's the video. How do I feel about this being my first girl? Well, I'm very excited. I already have two little boys, so, you know, I always wanted a little girl, a little mini me, a little best friend, and I'm finally receiving that, so I'm so excited. How do I feel about it being my first child? At the age I'm at now, 36 years old, my birthday was just a couple days ago. I've been waiting for this day for a long time, so with all my years of experience and everything I've been through, I'm pretty sure I'll step up and play the role pretty well. Was this pregnancy different from my other two? I can definitely say this pregnancy was different. Of course, her dad has been there from day one, from doctor's appointments. He's a truck driver. He goes in different places. He sees something. He's sending me a picture like, oh, I'm getting this for my baby girl. So definitely different. First thing I would like to teach my daughter would definitely be respect. Respect goes a long way. It can get you a long way in the world. I, this is my first child, definitely my first daughter, so there's no rule book for how I have to raise her. So, I mean, it's pretty much just learn and go. The only thing I can say is I promise to do the best I can. What feature of you would you like your child to have? Um, what feature? Um, I would say my height. That way she can take it far, far sports. If she want to play basketball, she want to be a cheerleader, volleyball, she'll have my height because I'm, I'm a tall girl. <laughs> <laughs> what feature would I like my daughter to have? I would definitely say got to be my heart. My heart is one of the biggest things on me. And of course, she, I know she's going to be tall. Me and Ebony, we both tall. She's going to be tall, so <laughs> that's a given. But as long as she has my heart, she'll be good. In the middle of the night, who's going to be the first one to get up with the baby? Um, who will be the first one to get up? I would say if he's not working over the road, I'm going to give a little Nah, when she start crying, and he'll be the first one to get up, definitely. <laughs> if I'm home, I'm definitely going to be the first one to get up and get her. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> She's going to be a spoiled little girl, I tell you. If you can hear us in there, my name is Shahana, Auntie Booby, because they definitely don't call me by my real name. So I just wanted to say we can't wait to welcome you into the world. I'm your auntie, and I'm so proud to be your auntie. 
we can already tell that you're going to be an energetic little girl. Thanks to all those kicks your mama has let me know about. Every person in this room has a unique gift to share with you throughout your life. You un undoubtedly have many unique gifts to impart on us as well. We can't wait to see your beautiful face and hold your tiny hands. Welcome to the world, our family, and your new home with your parents, Dion and your mom, Abby. We love you, girl. We love you in there. <laughs> Hey, I just want to, hey look, I want to thank everybody for coming out, man. Everybody for coming out. Everybody in this building, you know, whether it's on Ebony's side or my side, you know, I pretty got, I got a pretty good support system. Yeah, and, hey. And that's, that's, that's what it's all about, man. You got to have, you got to have a support system, man, when it comes to a child. February 23rd, I'm going to be celebrating another birthday. Baby Nevaeh, man. If y'all see her name up here, Leon and Ebony celebrating Baby Nevaeh. That's what we celebrating. Come on, Ebony. Come on, Ebony. Come on, woman. <laughs> hey, a lot of y'all don't know, man, but me and Ebony, boy, me and Ebony, we, we fight, bro. We fight like cats and dogs, boy. Me and Ebony, we fight. <laughs> But if you ask me, you if you ask me if it's all worth it, you know it's all worth it, man. Cause I got Baby Nevaeh coming out. She she coming soon, man. Just like a movie. Just like I've been waiting these whole nine months for Baby Nevaeh to come home, man. Yeah. I'm ready for my baby, man. And I tell y'all this, man. I don't know how to do a lot of things. A lot of things. It ain't no rule book on life. You just gotta figure stuff out as it goes. Since Ebony came home and told me she was afraid, well, I've been shopping. <laughs> I've been shopping, man. I can't help it. I just can't help it. If I go to Walmart, if I go anywhere, if I see something for babies, I'm probably going to buy it, man. I ain't going too far, because I'm going to be home on that Tuesday and that Wednesday morning. Me and Ed, we're going to the hospital. I thought we got to be there at 8 o'clock, and we're going to be ready for baby to baby. Hey, we ready for my baby. I appreciate everybody for coming out here, man. Everybody. A lot more people than I expected. But like I said, that shows me a support system. So I shout out everybody in this building, man. Everybody, man. You from Roseburg, Littleton, Sandlerburg, Dunn, Las Vegas. Shout out my dad, man. Shout out my dad. Anybody, man. Shout out my mama, Juanita Melvin, boy. That's my mama right there. Oh, hey, that's my grandma, man. My grandma don't play. <laughs> hey, I used, I, used to think, I used to think my mama was so mean when I was in high school, man. I said my mama was so mean, but but as I got older, I realized my mama, she just wanted to look out for my best interest. And so I want to take this time out, give a shout out to my friends, KJ, Ray. Hey, that's my battle buddy right there. I got my buddy Justin, my buddy Tevin, my buddy Dan Dan. Who else in here? I can't see everybody. everybody. Can't see everybody. My aunt Roxanne, my aunt Yonder, my cousin Courtney, my dad, my stepmom. Hey, I just want y'all to come on. Hey, put it up one time. Put it up one time for Baby Nevaeh. Put it up one time. Baby Nevaeh, man. February 23rd. She 